Alright, is it ringing? Alright, good. Conversation still right, you're live, man. So go ahead, shoot. Um, explain your discontent. Uh, first of all, my discontent starts with your uh, view part reception because I can barely hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? Shit, I'm in the back of the house because everybody's because uh, everybody's asleep. Uh, yeah, I'm in the back uh, room. No, uh, we good. Okay, we good. good now, man. We both. Two, 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 two hill areas ain't good. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so, so first of all, first of all, I'm gonna just start it off with the fight. Mm-hmm. That's what we're gonna start. Okay. Um, because uh, I heard, I heard you, and I heard, I just heard a, a bunch of other people saying uh, Adrian Broner made a good account of himself. He let his hands go. Blah blah blah, yada yada yada, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, what were y'all, what were y'all watching? <laughs> um, and, and, and I'm being honest, I, I can't, I can't really, I can't really complain about the draw. Mm-hmm. This is how I saw it. I saw Jesse Vargas clearly won rounds one through four. He clearly won round six, and he clearly won round eleven. Mm-hmm. Those are six rounds that Jesse Vargas clearly won. Mm-hmm. Adrian Broner clearly won round eight. Clearly won round nine, definitely nine, and clearly won round ten. Mm-hmm. So I have the six rounds that Vargas definitely won, three rounds that Broner definitely won, mm-hmm. and then five, seven, and twelve. You can go either way. You can argue for both. So mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not mad at the draw, but the, the thing about it is, and, and, and um, I listened to the dude who was talking to uh, earlier today, and mm-hmm. I agree with him. Like the, the main, the main reason I do the draw because neither one of them, neither one of them, like did what it took mm-hmm. to win. Sure. Like, Jesse Vargas, uh, Jesse Vargas, I started to notice him gassing out in the fourth round. I saw his, his legs were looking a little uneasy to me. Mm-hmm. So Jesse, Var- Jesse Vargas just did what he did to, to did what he could to hang on, mm-hmm. and Broner. Uh, Broder did just did what he could to make himself look good. A lot, a lot of his letting his hands go with shoe shining and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know, uh, you know, you were at the fight, so I know, I know you said you haven't watched it back. But even before Brown, Kevin Cunningham, if, if he thought he was up, Kevin Cunningham wouldn't have told him you need to go get this knockout in the twelfth round. Oh, he told him that. You know. And, yeah, he told her that. Yeah. I mean, you'll you hear it when you watch it back. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he was playing with him the whole fight and let his hands go. Mm-hmm. Broner didn't start. I, I, I mean, if you uh, if you watch if you watch the Broner versus Porter fight, Broner let his hands go at the beginning of the 12th round. If you watch the Mikey Garcia fight, Broner let his hands go in the 11th and 12th round when it was when it was pretty much over for him. Mm-hmm. So. It's, it, I didn't. I didn't see Broner do anything that we never seen him do before. It was just the same story. The only difference is this fight he started doing a little earlier, mm-hmm. and his confidence and his confidence started growing because Jesse Vargas was dashed out. Jesse Vargas was dropping his hands. Jesse Vargas was leaning over. His eye was cut. He mm-hmm. was favoring that left eye mm-hmm. that was cut. So he he was there to be finished, and Broner couldn't get it done. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, and, and so, I, I was just like, I, I was just honestly, I was just shocked at how many people were praising Broner's performance. Like, Broner's performance did nothing to me but show me I, 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 what I already knew. Mm-hmm. I, I, like, I, there, there, there was no, there was no point. Like, like even and I and I like Kevin Cunningham. Uh, I, I always just been a fan of. Uh, you know how how disciplined he always just kind of seen with Devin Alexander mm-hmm. and even with uh, Corey Spence and everything. Yeah, but you know it, it, it's it's just like everything when when it when it was the camp before the Mikey Garcia fight, it was oh I'm taking camp to Colorado Springs. <laughs> you know, this, mm-hmm. uh, I, I never lost. You know, I, I don't lose when I go to Colorado. I'm undefeated. 
140 pounds and over, blah, blah, blah. Then we get to the press conference, we clown. Then we get to the, then we get to the fight, freeze up. Mm-hmm. The post-fight press conference, clown. And, and no accountability and excuses. And so this time, so this time it was, oh, I had to leave Mike Stafford, had to go with Kevin Hale, a more disciplined, and, and, and even you, you mentioned like, you know, uh, you know, there's more joy in the training camp, so mm-hmm. it might be a new fighter, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not mad at that, because that, that was the, you know, the, mm-hmm. the day, you get, then you get to fight week. And I'm not even going to talk about the Takashi thing, I'll bring that up later. Mm-hmm. But we get to fight week, and what he did with Leonard Ellis being all of that, clown. Mm-hmm. Then, you, then you get to the fight, <laughs> you get to the fight, and, and, and honestly... I didn't fall. No, 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 no. I didn't. Listen, I'll be honest, man, as I always am anyway. It's something It's something about when you know, honestly, when a man is against the wall, you like, God, man, like, like, it's, it's not that. I honestly am afraid of what will happen next to Adrian Broner. And, 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 I, and I wish you on that. When I, when I was watching the fight in the, in the fifth round, when I had Jesse Vargas up four, uh, four nothing, uh, I, I, I looked over to him and I said, yo, Adrian Vaughn might kill himself. That's what I, I was said, thinking. I, I said that. I said that. My, my, my little homie that, that, that once again is one of these believers and he bet money on brother. <laughs> I've, been telling, I've been telling him to stop betting on brother. Mm-hmm. He called me, he said, he said, yo, Broner might kill himself without me saying it. Mm-hmm. And then when I texted you later that night, yeah. he said, I'm afraid of what might happen to him. And, it, 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 and, I, and I feel that. Mm-hmm. And, and trust me, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive to seeing people's back against the wall just because as it, people, mm-hmm. we go through that, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, like, I, Shane Mosley's last fight where he got the last move. I, I watched that with my grandfather and I was just, I was like, come on, Shane. Mm-hmm. Come on, Shane. Even though I knew it was over, but Shane is a quality dude, mm-hmm. a quality character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything you're saying is right. I, hey, hey, I can't refute. I remember that video vividly. I was, man. 
You understand what I'm saying? But it's something about being in that moment. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what Caesar did when right before he 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 killed Jesus. I don't know that moment, but there's something about being in that moment when you know, nigga, if this goes as planned, the world as we know it will be different. And, and I'm not putting extras on. It. I'm just saying like I know if Brona would have lost this fight. I don't know what Adrian Broner would have did. And and it was more of that than me actually like, oh, my God, I'm about to put $10,000 on Broner. I'm a fan of Broner. I'm, I'm just really afraid of that train wreck. You understand what I'm saying? And and being in that moment, being in the arena, knowing that everyone is waiting on that. I can tell everyone was waiting on that because there was a nine round pregnant pause. I don't know if you could, if you could feel it through the TV screen. Mm-hmm. And just with everybody, I mean, outside of the arena, just everybody, everybody watching it, you can feel it too. Because mm-hmm. like, like, because uh, there, there was a, there was a, uh, there was a little, there was a little internal party. Because like I said, like in the fifth round, I was like, yo, this dude's gonna, like, like Jesse Bark is just beat the shit out of him. Like this dude is, is, is gonna jump off. Could you see his body language? Could you, okay, because I was in the hundred section, so I could I wasn't ringside. I was in the hundred section, so so I couldn't really see it. Only had one angle, you know. What I mean, I couldn't really see what was facial expressions and all that because I was watching the ring. I wasn't watching the screen, you know. So, but that's what it was. You 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 have every right to be that mad at me, but it's something I I I, I wish I could explain it for you, like. The fourth round, I swear to God, I don't know who won the first round. The first round, nobody threw any punches. I, I, I didn't. So, so, I, so I don't know who won the first round. But two, three, four, I'm like, this is a clean sweep. And I'm like, oh yeah. shit, honestly, in, in the ring. And I'm sitting next to Box and Ego. I wish I, I wish I would have recorded everything we talked about from round one through eleven. I, had, I didn't watch round twelve because I was in the hundred section. I got to hustle down and try and get interviews for y'all. So I missed it. And then, right, I, right, and then right. I bumped into Chino Mondana. That took up the whole 12th round. And uh, the same conversation that you were having in your head with your cousin, telepathy, and with your girl, I was having that same conversation with Ego. And uh, I'm like, dude, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Like, and, 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 and like, my humanity starts to kick in. Like, like, and I'm like, I don't want nothing bad to happen to this dude, but... This motherfucker might kill himself or do something harm harm himself because he is in front of fourteen thousand people and he literally embarrassed himself. And I think by the grace of I don't know who, it came out a draw and he lives to fight another day. I was more relieved. It's like when you see someone making a left turn and they don't see the motherfucker crossing the street, and you're like, "Woo! Thank God they didn't get hit." Or you're backing out of the. Walmart, two cars backing out, and y'all don't see each other. No, I'm, I know apples and oranges, but you feel like relieved. You understand? And honestly, when that shit, I didn't even tie. I didn't even know the decision. I had to listen to somebody do an interview because I didn't know what happened. I was like, I, I, I swear to God, I said, "Who won?" <laughs> and they said, uh, "Adrian Broner won a draw." And I'm like, "Huh? Adrian Broner won a draw?" Cause I'm running by people, and they said, and they said, yeah, one fifteen, one thirteen. Adrian Broner won a draw, and I said he won a draw. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people probably just don't understand uh-huh. the two judges. And then I didn't, oh. I literally didn't know the decision until after the interview. I didn't even hear what he said because I would have asked people about what he said in the <laughs> ring. Yeah, I didn't hear none of that because I had to go through the, uh, I have to come down the stairs. And go through the elevator. So I miss all of that. And uh, I didn't know that until I got to my hotel. And the comments he said about Martin Luther King, I would have been all over that. I, I had no idea he said that. Yeah, and, mm-hmm, I, I had no idea he said that. So I'm not rooting. I'm, I, I'm, I want healing. But the only way it can happen is if he has people around him like us in his life. You understand? And... And and that video. I had a I had a long conversation with uh, 
one of my boys the, the day after. And uh, once again, I, and I might, I might even have this conversation with you before. Like, hey, Adrian Broner, he's the type of person. I'm 30 years old now, about to turn 31 next mm-hmm. year. Adrian Broner is the type of person that makes me look at myself and, and, and be disgusted at some of the things that I used to and yep. you know, and, and, and it's like, and it's like, so it's like you, you're supposed to be developing like eventually on the same level as me and even more because you're in the limelight. You, he's, a, he's a father. I don't have any kids. He's a father. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he has, he, he has to do with a lot more responsibility than I have to do with. So he should, he should even be further ahead. On, on the maturity factor, sure. you know, and uh, I, I was, I was just talking to my homeboy last night. Like uh, when we was, we was we, when we were nineteen, we were sophomores in college, and we were working at the uh, Nike, at the Nike outlet in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. And uh, we used to, we used to let people come steal stuff. I used to steal stuff, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And we would brag about stuff, and we would brag about stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Now me. So if 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 that same mommy would have called me the next day, eleven years later, going through everything that I've been through and understanding how to run business and understanding that I was I was I was putting other people's times that were in charge of the inventory, all their jobs at the risk, mm-hmm. and you know all of that. There's no way I know now. So if that same mommy would have called me today. Mm-hmm. Laughing about something he just told, mm-hmm. I would lose all respect for him because mm-hmm. at some point you're supposed to grow. Like even even uh, Tank, I, I gotta I gotta I gotta take the time to really shout out Tank because I, I I wrote Tank off after his last fight mm-hmm. after he didn't make weight after the performance that he put on. Uh, I I kind of wrote Tank off. I was like, man, he just just another one that just gonna blow up. Tank and press the shit out of me. And, and 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 I know I know he didn't have the best kind of opponent, but just even even just watching him and watching and, and, and like I like I, I told you the other day, he I I don't like some of the stuff that he does on Twitter, but at least like five week press conference post fight, like mm-hmm. at least he knows how to carry himself. Sure. It seems, it seems like you really, seems like you really learned from that last fight. You know how to carry yourself. Mm-hmm. Jamal Charlo, for, for all the for all the things that we say about the Charlo brothers and everything like that, he didn't bring up none of that stuff during the press conference, mm-hmm. during the fight, during the post fight. Mm-hmm. You, you call out Triple G, that's what you do as a fighter, but mm-hmm. carry yourself like a man. Mm-hmm. Um, so my thing is, I the reason that I'm upset, the reason that I'm upset at the draw is because once again. We give Adrian Bonner the opportunity to not be accountable mm-hmm. and to deflect. Mm-hmm. You're right. I, 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 you know? God, yeah, you're right. You're right. And, and, and it just, it just, it just kind of, it's, it's just like, like, like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm not a person, I'm not a, black come first to me and I don't want to see, and I, and I don't want to see any black person be unsuccessful. Mm-hmm. But he, he is a, he is a disgrace. He's a clown. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take what my guy said earlier. He's he's a he's a minstrel show character, and he's and he's honestly he's honestly a cancer. Now that, now that that's that's just me. That's just me personally as a, as a black man and, and that cares about how we're representing. Now even as a person fan, because you because me and you argue about his stock rising. Now I. I I don't believe his stock rose at all from this fight. I believe, like I said, I believe he was able to. I believe he's able to pull off, and he might go down to 140, win a vacant title against mm-hmm. nobody, mm-hmm. and stretch it and stretch it out for stretch it out for a few more fights until he has to fight somebody decent, and he's even gonna. He's, he, like he, he keeps cooling, and he's on a he's on a Jesse Vargas, Adrian Granados, Emmanuel Taylor level because mm-hmm. he had cool fights with all of them do. Yeah. So that's. That's his level, uh, and I'm, I'm looking at this like I'm looking at this like Jesse Vargas was wiping your ass out, and Jesse <laughs> Vargas got dominated every second of every round against Tim Bradley except for one punch. Mm-hmm. He got dominated every second of every round against Manny Pacquiao, mm-hmm. and he's here dominating you. And all like he, it, I, 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 I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I saw Adrian Butler do anything that impressed me on Saturday. Mm-hmm. What I saw was Vargas saying. He, and Vargas show that he is, he hasn't moved up a level. Great point. <laughs> just, Great point. Two, see, 
Great point. It was just, it was just two, it was just two C class fighters showing why they're C class. You know, you you'll enjoy my, you'll enjoy my uh, my aftermath video. It's uploaded now. You'll enjoy that. It'll be. You, you'll, well, no, I, I, I know you were mad because you hit me, and I want to do that interview then in that moment, but I had to work all night. You know what I mean? I um, I wanted to get your emotion, but I couldn't. And you have you have, and you're absolutely right. But I say being in that moment, like I'm serious, being in that moment, it's it's so surreal when you like. Watching this motherfucker about to be fed to the lions, you know, like when he's walking, when he was walking to the ring, I was like, "This motherfucker is about to be fed to the lions, yo." Yeah. You know, and and that kind of, you know, I I I I, I but, felt but it. Thing, like, like I said, like like I said, the little the, the the little part inside of me. Like when I start thinking like, man, this dude's gonna kill himself. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you, you do start to have you do start to have sympathy with just the, the realest enemy. No, we have like, empathy. No, we have empathy. We don't have sympathy because of what we come, what, what yeah. we've seen. So right, right, our empathy exactly. our empathy yeah, exactly. levels are high. You understand what I'm saying? So I yeah. know this motherfucker got six kids. Like, whew, you know, like you know, but right, at, Yeah. So it was like nobody's up. So I, I don't. I, it was. It was. That was a smart thing to do. 
that was definitely a smart thing to do to get some eyes on it, but that was it was dumb. It was dumb that they let the cat off the bat. Because mm-hmm. who's going to take who's gonna take them serious now? Yeah. And then any, any true boxing fan that knows Jesse Vargas is, is, is not that good, and, mm-hmm. and they'll, they'll be able to look at it, it's just like, oh, we know... We know Adrian Bonner can't. Come on, like, come on. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, 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 if, Jeff, if Jesse Vargas was in the ring with Earl Spence, I'll tell you Oh, man. And... and, and, and Just, I, I'm, I'm glad you brought Earl Spence up. Earl Spence gave him ten rounds or two because he feels the same thing no, we feel. No, no, no wait, wait. No, 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 he feels exactly no, the same way Earl we Spence. feel. Earl Spence, yeah. Now, now, two, things, two things about Earl Spence. One, he didn't really give him ten rounds or two. People, the people took that and ran with it incorrectly. I, I saw. If, if you saw, first of all, when Earl Spence said ten to two, he was smiling. He was smiling. Then he said, no, 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 it wasn't 10 rounds or two. Then he said, I think AB kind of pulled it off. Mm-hmm. Uh, then he said he, he wasn't, he, he, he said he wasn't letting his hands go to like the end of the round. Mm-hmm. But I think he kind of pulled it off. Mm-hmm. Now, now, that, 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 now that's that part. And, and now the thing with Earl, that, that kind of disappointed me. And, I, and I've been noticing it for a few months, but I, I didn't want to speak on it. It's like, yeah, or, yeah, Earl, it's just like, Earl knows that Adrian Bonner is like the little homie mm-hmm. that can't really fuck with him. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm going down to Houston for that yeah. fight anyway. So Dallas or Houston, wherever they're at, uh, I'll be down there for that weekend. He knows, he knows that, he knows that the Chargo is absolutely right about Broner, but it's just like, damn, I feel bad for the dude. Mm-hmm. You're right. You know, uh, uh, and, and you know, it's, 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 once again, like, like, it's just, like, like, look, look at, look at, look at how, look at how long it took for her to get to the level that he's on. Ooh, didn't look, it? Look it took a long time. time. It took a long time. Damn. Yeah. It's just being in that moment. No, I'm telling you, man, when you know a motherfucker's about to be fed to the lions, I'll, I'll be honest, man. It's like, you know, it's it's not, it's it's not it's like after round four, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, you should see me now. I'm getting goosebumps now. I'm like, this shit is over. This shit is over. Oh, my God. Jesse Vargas is just going to punch to the 12th round and win the fight. Just throw punches. I don't know if he's going to, I honestly didn't know if he was landing those body shots at all. I just saw him working, working, working. I, I, I don't know if he hurt Adrian Brown at some point. I have no idea. I, I got to rewatch the fight, but I haven't had any space. Uh, I, 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 honestly don't, I, I honestly don't think he ever hurt Broner at all. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but, and, and, and moving forward to after round 10, you could tell Adrian Broner is afraid to be great. I was talking to my own wedding like that, but that, I, 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 two, two, man, 
like, okay, when, because this whole, this whole fight, this whole fight was that moment of clarity for Adrian Buck. Like, this, this is the fight, like, this, this is, this is the end of your career if you lose this fight, like you told them, basically, mm-hmm. fighting for your life. Mm-hmm. So you, you supposed to just, that's when you're supposed to find that, that new, person that you didn't even know was inside you mm. and bring it out mm-hmm. and that's so that he didn't have it like we we like you uh, mm. a month ago i saw deontay water career going down the drain and yeah. I, I and i and i almost cried me I'm too like, no, me too i was squeezing no. the hell out of my son man yeah. and you and, and you and you saw him dig deep and you, and you saw him dig deep and, and and do what he had to do, and then you it, you just built a whole new confidence in Deontay Wilder. Mm-hmm. Like I know, nah, like like I know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to kill him to beat him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, you saw you saw Earl Spence go to a whole other country, going for the thirty thousand fans booing him, and you saw him losing. You saw Earl losing some rounds, mm-hmm. and I was nervous. I was nervous. Absolutely. He got buzz too. He got buzz in that fight a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You saw, you saw her in, in, and bring and bring something out of him. And you saw her dig deep and bring something out of himself and not kill Brook the hell out. Even even though even though I think this guy is a clown too. You saw Anthony Joshua get knocked down by Chris though, mm-hmm. gassed out, looking like it was over. You saw him dig deep. Mm-hmm. Adrian, Adrian brother. Adrian Broner was in the ring, not doing anything for rounds. Jesse Vargas literally gassed out. Jesse Vargas was there to be knocked out. He was there to be knocked out. He was there to be stopped, knocked out, he was everything. He was, he, was, he, was, he was like, hey, B, man, just, just, uh, just hit me so I can fall. You're right. <laughs> right, right. Just, throw your heart, just throw your hardest little hook that you have, and I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. You're, You're absolutely right. right. Absolutely right. Washed him. Washed him. That's what actually actually because I know Earl Spence, he watches my videos. That shot of Earl Spence, they need to fucking frame that shot when he fucking flexes and you see Chris Algieri in the background. Did you, did you see that shot? Yeah. Oh my God, that's a great picture. It's like it's like I've arrived. Like I'm here. Any doubts now? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, 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 and that and that and that moment confirmed what I already knew. Like even for me, like like it, 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 even even once again, Jamel Charlo when he was fighting Lubin. Like when he was fighting Lubin last like, year, a lot of people say, "Oh, Lubin's gonna Lubin's gonna be your hardest test." Blah blah blah. What is your first round knockout? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, 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 it's it's like, it's it, it's like there there's gonna be there's there's gonna there's gonna come that time in your life where you have to get off cruise control and you have to really just dig down deep and what and what is in your what's in your soul. Mm-hmm. And Adrian Broner Adrian Broner has just shown what's in his soul. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and once again once again, we're not we're not talking about we're not talking about a dude that uh had a, had a troubled life because of life circumstances. We talking about a dude that chose to go make bad decisions. We talking about wow. You talking about a dude who chose people. to make bad decisions. Damn. You talking about yeah, a, oh, we, we, we talk. We, 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 we talking about. We talking about. We talking about somebody who has good people in his life. Who has? I, I, I've seen plenty 
plenty of times Broner get advice from people and he and he and, and like he'll smile about it like, Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Mm-hmm. But I'm proud of it. And, and and once again, once again, it makes me look back at my teenage self like, Wow, mm-hmm. this is how you could have turned out if you didn't mature up. Because yep. I, I was that same person I, I was that same person making silly decisions. Mm-hmm. When I had a lot of good, when I had a lot of good people in my life mm-hmm. guiding me in the right direction, yep. and I'm just laughing it off like it's nothing. Yep. It's it's uh, so I, I I like I like 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 I told you like like I told you on on, on the DM mm-hmm. like watching Andrew Bonner is just like it's like watching David Ruffin. Yeah, watching, that was powerful. Uh, that was powerful. Watching, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And watching Kurt, watching Kurt, Kurt Cobain, Cobain. And watching Courtney, like, 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 uh, Marvin Gaye for that matter. Marvin Gaye, huh? What's the, like, it's, like, it's like watching Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. Oh my God, what a talent. Jesus Christ. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it's like we know this is going to end. And so I, I'm, a, I'm just upset. I, I'm upset. I'm just like, yo, we just prolonged the show. Because you know, he, you know, you know, because uh, Terrence Crawford cleared out the 140 division. Mm-hmm. And so he's going gonna, he's gonna to go get a vacant championship. Yep. You already yep. you know it. Yep. <laughs> He gonna go. He gonna go get a vacant title, and, and it just extends. It, it just extends the BS. Yep. And it, but but at the end of the day, we can't avoid what's inevitable. Uh huh. Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner does not have it in him. He's not. He's. <laughs> so even even in, even when I was watching your interview with his dad. First of all, you see a lot of character flaws in his dad. Mm-hmm. But one thing that I saw. One thing that I saw, I saw a man that is just like, I know my son freaking up, but I'm not going to say it on camera. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I felt that. I felt that. Uh, I was trying to get him there. I was trying to get him there. I tried. And you were close. Mm-hmm. I was close. <laughs> I was close. Mm-hmm. I just kept on rephr- I just kept on rephrasing the question, you know, in a yeah. different, uh-huh. Even, even, when, even when he was talking to his homeboy at the end, the shorter one. Oh, he got me 100%. He's with me 100%. But, 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 but once again, it's like I'm on camera. I can't I can't agree with you all the way, but everything in his body language when you're mm-hmm. asking him certain questions mm-hmm. and everything in the justifications, it, it's like, man, we, we know this nigga's a clown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and then when his big homie was like, you can't leave it. I'm like, nigga, I live down the street from fucking Nipsey Hussle. What do mean you can't leave this shit? You know, I mean, I, in my head, I thought that because, you know, he's real current in my mind. I'm yeah, like, I, I, Nipsey I, Hussle done shot at niggas. Was, uh, what are you talking about? I was, I, I was, I was, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of wishing you, uh, you hit on, you, you, not, not even like disrespectfully, but I, I was kind of wishing you gave him, uh, uh, Gave him a counter to that because yeah that was that was a, that was the dumbest shit. Yeah, it, it only, I thought it that. Only, it, mm-hmm. only, it only follows you. It only follows you if you bring that energy. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised. I don't know how he's I able to manage that. being a celebrity. I'm like, huh? What are you talking about? And, and but but that goes to show you the frequencies that they're on. That they're, they're functioning at low level frequencies. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? And keep in mind, I'm surrounded by 40 people doing this interview. So, yeah. you know what I mean? So, so there's a certain decorum that I must have because there's a mob mentality. As you can see, when I interviewed Adrian Broner, Adrian Broner wouldn't have did that shit to me if it wasn't 40 people in the lobby. It's literally 40 motherfuckers oh, in the lobby. Man, that's what, I, man I, I've, been, I, 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 I've been around Adrian Broner twice. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, I, Adrian Broner is a little homie. Mm-hmm. Adrian, Adrian, Adrian I, I played in a celebrity basketball game with him in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Adrian Broner is a little homie that want that want to be accepted and, and like he want everybody to watch him and notice him mm-hmm. and all of that. And even 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 at the even at the remember the Floyd game in the Valley when yep. uh uh-huh. the girl forgot when when the girl oh yeah with the water the with the water mm-hmm. with the Gatorade excuse me yeah mm-hmm. yeah. Like you just, like you just, any, any, you just want to be in the moment so bad. Like he, he's a little old, so mm-hmm. even, even, like, like I said, like even, even so call, 
Kanye, you a bitch ass nigga, blah blah blah, and and, and all of that. And, 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 and for for anybody watching that, who feel like oh, Freya got part bridge, you should have did that. We, I know exactly. I, I can read between y'all. I know exactly who we all are. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all people that never been, y'all people that never been in no real situation. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So mm-hmm. that. Uh, we won't even we won't even talk about that. But uh-huh. of course, yeah, you you know the, the only reason the only reason he said that is because he felt mm-hmm. absolutely, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. I even gave him because he it, always it, 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 go ahead, go ahead, finish your thought. No, no, no. What you saying? No, I'm saying he always gives me one liners, like so. So I know where he's going. So so I kind of disarmed him, like I politely disarmed him. Like okay, go ahead, give me your one liner so we can carry on with this conversation. Because I I, I know he's gonna. I want. He's clever. He's witty. Like he has the ability to to yeah, make man. you move. And I and I wasn't gonna budge. If he would, if I would thought he would have lost the fight, I would have said Adrian Brown. I thought you lost. I I I I I, I thought it was it was or I probably would have said seven five either way. You know, just to keep the interview going. But you know. I the energy that I felt, I thought it was a draw. I thought it was flat. You know, what I mean, no one, no one sees the moment. You know, I didn't see round twelve. I don't know if that's round one and round twelve. I, I, I don't know round one. No, I think both of them didn't land a punch. It, it seemed like, you know what I mean. So, uh, uh, but 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 he did come back. I wish I would have recorded this point. Oh, no, he, he definitely came back. Mm-hmm. He definitely came. You can't. You like I said, I'm not. I'm not no hater. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna. You're right. And, 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 and I just call that a coward. Mm-hmm. I, I just, I, I, just I, I, I only call the state to pay. He's, mm-hmm. he's a coward. And, and so I just hope you don't fall over the moment ever again. Mm-hmm. Like, I, <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope that, I, 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 like, hey, he's not going to change, man. He, he is what he is. He is. He is what he is. He is. At the end of the day, he, he is. He is. is. He absolutely is. I can't refute that. No, but to sit there, to, to sit there and, and call uh, these bitch ass niggas, bitch ass, like, once again, like I said, like, and first, first of all, first of all, so many levels, so many, first of all, just from a professionalism standpoint, like, just get to the press conference and do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. Yes, make it entertaining, yes, talk some shit, but come on. And then, and then, sec- secondly, from, from the perspective, like you said, like come on, dog. You got like, like you said, like you said earlier, you got six kids. Mm-hmm. So, 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 it, it, so if your if your child gets into it with his teacher and they in the principal office, yo, yo, your, your child just say my teacher's a bitch ass nigga. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Uh, mm. it, it, it just. It's just like people like we we don't we don't get we don't get a lot of opportunities, man. And in boxing, 
so many black people that we could get behind. Like, 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 like I said, we we sat there. Like, I, I, just, I knew the I knew the whole Deontay Wilder story, but when we was right there in his presence, and I was just really sitting here, like, man, this fool really like got in the boxing because he had a daughter born mm-hmm. with, with a deficiency, mm-hmm. and so he, he had to work and try to get some insurance mm-hmm. at twenty nineteen twenty years old. Had to work to get some insurance to, to get her on treatment, mm. and then decided to try boxing because that was his last chance mm. to, to make the kind of income. And he could, you know what I mean? Like that's that's what I want to get. That that's that's having your back against the wall, like bro, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That, that's a, you know, You're right. You got her. You got Earl Spence. You got Earl Spence on here that, you know, he, he, has, like, he has character qualities, and I can tell that in a relationship with his dad and blah, 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 that I, that I wish that I had when I was younger. Mm-hmm. I have one now, and I wish I had one. Wish I, that, that, that you could tell Earl Spence always had. Mm-hmm. You know, good, good dude, humble dude, like kind of no-nonsense. He is a no-nonsense guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't have to overcompensate, but at the end of the day, like I'm about business. Mm-hmm. I, 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 you, you you got that. That's what that's what we need to be getting behind and pushing. You got you, even the Charles, even with that water with that water edges. You got two you got two twin brothers that that's been there for each other and that and that are pushing each other to be great. Mm-hmm. You know that are, that are, that are trying to push themselves to be great. You got that to get behind. So it's like it, 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 it just it's I'm I, like I need water, bro. I'm sorry. And, 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 and for and for all for all the qualities about Broner that could remind people about Floyd to try to give him any excuse or whatever. There's so many qualities I could bring up about Floyd. Like we said, we see we seen Floyd in every moment where he had to step up, step up and show out. Yeah. You, you seen Floyd? You seen Floyd at 21 years old in the 17th fight? Then Janelle Hernandez looked like trash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he sure did. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 a, and a lot of people probably, a lot of people probably don't even know about that fight because they just focus on money, Mayweather, and all mm-hmm. of that. But you, you seen, you seen, you seen Floyd go as, a, as an underdog against Diego Corrales, mm-hmm. knock Diego Corrales down seven times and make him. Never should have been in the ring. So you, 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 you know that there's character there. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, all, 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 the, all the other stuff to the side, but it's like sit through all of that. When I see Adrian Barnes character, I see none at all. I see there's that there's nothing about Adrian Barnes that I feel like mm-hmm. I, I feel like at the end of the day that. Of somebody who was given chances and blew them off. Mm-hmm. He is already. Everything you're saying is true. And that's what it is. Everything you're saying is that's true. That's what it is. So, that, so, so that, I, I, I just, I, I do, I do, like, I, I, like, and, and I, I understand moments and stuff, but I, I, I was just feeling like you was, I, I, I was just feeling like you were definitely contradicting yourself on Saturday. Because mm-hmm. it's just like, yeah, I, I'm still that dude. Being in that moment when you see a motherfucker about to go in the cage with a lion, it's like Jesus Christ. Omar Figueroa would have beat him. Omar Figueroa wouldn't have stopped throwing punches. Omar Figueroa would have not. He throws a hundred punches around. I'm losing you. Mm-hmm. 
Street Royal, Street, Street Royal might have, might have eventually got some stuff up to. Like I said, but once again, I, I, I think I, I think that I agree. Like they're looking at their fight, there's the thought like Street Royal probably would beat him. Well, Big Royal would have beat, would've beat him up. Would have beat him more up in the in, in the first six rounds. Oh yeah, he, no, yeah, because he can actually because he can actually punch. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. He, he might have because Jesse what Jesse Vargas didn't really take the fight out of Adrian Mhm. Great point. Great point. Yeah, that's the word. So yeah, you you you. I, so I, I I take everything I just said back. There's a chance that there's a chance that uh, Figueroa would have beat him into a shell because because mm-hmm. he is he is vicious. And that's sad to say, because you, cause you, you won't name any <laughs> top level fighter right now that you think Figueroa has a chance in hell with. Yeah, you're right. No one. He can't beat no one in top five. You're right. <laughs> Dead or alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Damn. So, so now we just gotta sit back. But now I have a. I mean, Adrian Broner gave me my license, and uh, so now I'm, I'm not because of that, but. It, now he, he gave me, see, what, and maybe you picked up on this. I had so many opportunities to interview Adrian Broner. We stayed in the same hotel. I knew what room he was in. I know his schedule. I know where he's at. I know what he's doing. For the most part, I intentionally did, and, and I told you guys this in other videos too, because I thought that he, like he was literally fighting for his life. So I thought I was just going to be PC and, you know what I mean, do my job and not, Really, really go in on Adrian Broner. Don't you know when I was sitting in front of Adrian Broner with Leonard Ellaby behind him? Don't you know how hard it was for me not to ask him the question? How can you say that about a black man in this setting? How can you call another black man? Remember Thursday when he called Leonard Ellaby a bitch ass nigga? I wanted to ask him that. Like I, I wanted to push him on that. Like, like in terms. My question to you. My question to you. And I, I already know the answer uh-huh. because you, you can't, you know, you, you didn't, you didn't want to get in his head before the fight. Uh-huh. My question is, was why not? Yeah, he did deserve it. I'm telling you, it's something about, it's something about when you see a man. It's something about being in that moment, man. You know what I mean? When you the first, when you know the first infantry that touches Normandy, ninety percent of the motherfuckers are gonna die, and they know it, but. I, it's just something about it, man. He was in the first infantry. I thought he was in the first infantry that landed on Norm- on the beaches of Normandy. And I thought, honestly, that whole week, I'm like, this motherfucker about to- Man, the the Jesse Vargas that showed up against anybody before Adrian Broner beats Adrian Broner. I don't know how. I've never seen him gas out like this. I don't know what happened. Well, you got you to gotta, you, you gotta remember, though, Jay, Jay, for one... Jesse Vargas hasn't been that active. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I, the Pacquiao fight was in 2016, and he was out because he was disputing his stuff with Top Rank. Right? Mm-hmm. And he had one little fight last year, like in Lancaster or whatever. Mm-hmm. That was a long fight. And then he had to come down to 44. Yeah, because the, the Vargas that was in the ring with Pacquiao beats Broner. So, I mean, I, you know, it's... <laughs> like, I... I, I I never would have thought Vargas would have gassed out because he's a small one forty seven guy anyway. Never would have thought that. Uh, even, even, even even like I told you, because you told me uh, probably to you know be on win like he's just too busy too active. I think Vargas still win, but like I don't really race him that hard, so mm-hmm. I I could I, I I could see Broner having a chance. Mm-hmm. And, and that's the thing, like both 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 of those dudes, both of those dudes had the chance, and they just they just showed that neither one of them to ever hang out in front. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I got, I'm Lamar Peterson, who just got destroyed by Earl Smith. I would have Lamar Peterson dominating both of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lamar Peterson beats both of them for sure. Damn. God damn, and oh uh, yeah, I don't. We, we just gonna sit back and wait for it. That's, it, that's why I, I, it, 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 like I, I don't, I don't think his career was re really sparked at all. No, no, no. Like, like for instance, all right, we saw Tank's last fight on the Conor McGregor undercard. Sure. And 
we saw we saw we saw, we saw that with Kevin Kaya, and we saw how sharp he looked. Mm-hmm. We saw how different he looked at the weigh in. Like he didn't he didn't look he didn't look like he struggled as bad to make weight at the weigh in. Sure. He came out very sharp, very disciplined. And he he's like I'm I'm back on the bandwagon. I'm like, damn, like like I want to see more tank. Mm-hmm. You know, I like the, I like the way he carried himself and everything. So that goes, it goes like like that that gives validity to uh, uh, his name. Just is, that gives validity to Kevin Cunningham because you see a vast difference. Yeah, right here. you're but right. Broader is it, it's just it's not Kevin directions that I never heard my Stafford give Broader, and Broader just wasn't. Like, if, if he's, if, and like you said, back to what you said about Omar Figueroa, if he's in there with a fighter that's that's able to maintain that pace mm-hmm. in the second half of the fight, mm-hmm. he would have froze up. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm no, just... no, it, it, you have a lot of You have quite in the 10th round. When everybody thought Vargas was done, you kind of saw Adrian Bonner turn it up. It's like, it's like, damn, he survived this round. Like, I ain't gonna knock him out. So let me just chill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's afraid to be great, man. He's afraid to put himself out there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah it, it, it's coming. At the end of the day, it's coming, man. It's coming. It's, 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 it's coming. Mm-hmm. And, don't come if it don't come inside the ring. It's gonna be it's gonna be because it's gonna be because something dumb happens outside the ring, and his homeboy just verified that with that stupid ass coming. Mm-hmm. No matter where you go, you can't get away from it. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Especially <laughs> especially when you have. I heard I heard that shit. I was like, "What are you talking about? What is?" But he, his energy, his disposition was like, "Nigga, you don't know shit." You know what I mean? So I was like, "Uh." I, 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 I know, I'm just like, yeah, you just, you're just a dumb. He was looking at me like a peon. And, and once again, like, his, his, his first, first old boy you went to, he, he agreed with everything you were saying. Mm-hmm. He just couldn't, he just couldn't, he couldn't verbally say it. Mm-hmm. He, yeah, he can't, he can't. That, that, that's his boy. He needs to carry that conversation to Broner, you know, and, and, and he actually... He actually knew of me because he's like, "Hey, I want to do an interview with you." So, so, so I know like that, that my, my interviews are, are penetrating this camp. And I know Adrian watches my watches my interviews because he's always on his phone watching shit. But uh, I just wish someone would step up. Like they, the the video I did yesterday, someone got to like it, they they got a mob mentality. Everyone dresses alike. Everyone thinks alike. One of their friends was counting like twenty thousand dollars in the lobby. I'm like, who does that shit? 10, 20, I don't know how much money it was, but it was a lot of money. I'm like, he's literally just separating the hundreds, the 20. I'm like, who the fuck does this shit? Like, I, I shit. <laughs> to me, that's not cool. Like, I, <laughs> go ahead. And, 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 and even, even, even with that windows and mirrors mm-hmm. uh, mentality, like you said, mm-hmm. it, it goes back to the, the last call we had when I was on the phone with you on your show mm-hmm. that I was saying about Floyd. Mm-hmm. Like, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather and a lot of people with those same type of insecurities, they won't allow people around them that hold the mirror. They only allow the, the people. They, they only allow the people that will hold up the uh, the window. Mm-hmm. And they don't. They don't want those people around them. Yeah. So the difference is Floyd, Floyd put himself in a position to what he doesn't need. Yeah. Like he, he's set for life. He's yeah. good. Yeah. He, he's, and, 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 and Floyd and Floyd. Floyd is smart enough to listen to the people that are more powerful mm-hmm. than him. That'll yeah. hold the mirror up. You're right. You're right. You know what I mean? So, so bro, yeah. he's not in that position, and, and, but, but he carries himself like he's in that position. Mm-hmm. And, and so he only, want, he only wants people around. And, 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 and then, just to say, because like I said, and you probably saw, you probably seen it better than I did because you you was there that day playing basketball with him in the tournament earlier. Mm-hmm. Like I, I can just tell, I can tell. I even saw it uh, after Bruno knocked out Victor Ortiz, and, 
and he was in the room with uh, with Andre Ward. Like when he gets when when Broder gets into the presence of a real no nonsense motherfucker that will hold that mirror up to you, you can just see him kind of curl. And like I was about to use the word curl. He did that. He did that with me Saturday. He he did that, him saying him saying bitch ass nigga. He wasn't calling me a bitch ass nigga. He was deflecting. He was saying he was saying he was, yeah he was deflecting. He was saying damn man like I I I, I, I disappointed you did not. Mm -hmm. That's what he was really saying. Yeah 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 like, yeah yeah and, and and I knew it like I I felt it and, and I wish his friends wasn't there because I would have I I, I would have called him back. Agent Brown, you gonna talk to me that way? You gonna call him for real? I. I would have said that to him, but I know in, in, in that position is this. I mean, not from a bitch. Not you gonna call it, not from a standpoint of like I want to fight you, but I'm like A B, like for real, real talk. And and w what didn't happen was A B came back in by himself, and and he's like 25 feet away from me, and I says A B, you know you owe me an interview. I I'm working uploading videos for y'all. I'm, I'm on front of my computer, and I'm about 20 feet away from. Him. He's at the front desk. I guess he's. Looking for his key or something. I don't know. He, but he, all he's about forty guys outside, and they all getting in cars and all that, about to go to the strip club. And um, I said, "Ab, you know me. You know you owe me an interview." He said, "Yeah, man, you're right. My bad. Uh, uh, I got you. I I'm just on some gangster shit right now." And I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> Ty, I got all of that. I got all of that. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you don't have to, you don't have to posture yourself on me. You don't have to do that. Like, I'm not, I am the most non-threatening dude in the history of boxing journalism. Like, like, it's, it's like, it's not, it's not, I, I, I'm just firm in my beliefs, but I'm not, I'm no threat to nobody. And I love carrying that energy. Like, I'm not a threat to you. No way. You know, so it's not even you posturing yourself like that on me. So, uh, I, I wish I would have hit record, but I didn't know he was coming in. So it, it was more of a spontaneous thing. But I wish I could have did that. But but there was a few people in the lobby. They'll put it in the comment section. So, mm -hmm. and that's what it, it just. It, I just I just I change from the crowd behavior. Mm -hmm. and, 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 the, and the thing is, when when you mentality, and then you you around bottom around people like mm. the same comments like. You can't get away from it. Like, like you, that, that, that shows that you don't believe in yourself. Mm. You don't believe. You don't. You don't believe that you're any better than than this. It's mm. the same. It's the same. Like when you when you were a girl, when you were a girl that's from like suburbs, blah blah blah. You come from a. You come from a. You come from a man that, that taught you how to be respected by men, blah, blah, blah. And you just deal, you like, you go deal with this dude from home mm -hmm. that's doing you dirty, putting you through all that. There's something in you that feels inadequate. So Adrian Brunner feels inadequate. And, wow. And, 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 that, and that's, that's, the, that's the point that I was going to uh, make to you, like, probably like, like when he was playing basketball with the Charlos and whatever mm -hmm. he was and all of that, like he was probably just happy to be there. Mm. Because it's like, like real, like real, real recognized, real. Mm -hmm. Like you, you, you can, you can, you can do all that shit to your fucking like, homeboy. You're right. It's not even about money. It's, it's not even about money. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm around people with more money than me. Right. Mm -hmm. We it's, all are. We like, all are. It's, uh -huh. just, it's just like when when they do all that when they do all that flashy stuff and they get around me and see like I'm not impressed by none of that mm -hmm. you feel me I, I don't I don't like it, it, it's just like in, anybody anybody that comes around me has to know like they're in the presence of the man mm -hmm. so, like even even in, 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 even even with you that's cause I, I even saw I, I forget what fight it was but it was a couple months ago and, and uh, you asked him a question and he was like he was like, you know, when I heard you say that, he was like, you know, you right, I am fucking up. Mm -hmm. Fuck you anyway. Mm -hmm. you, like, like you saw his body language change. Yeah. You oh, you're, right. You're, you're right. right. you're right. You're right. You're right. That was in New York. That was in New York. That was that we were in New York. I think, I think it was a, uh, I think it was a fight that Robert Easter fought on. Oh, it sure was. You're right. He had two kids. You're right. You're right. He was with his two kids leaving the thing. You're right. 
bro. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so, uh, that's why I was shocked he talked. Yeah, you, we always have that dialogue where it's, where it's literally a conversation. Uh, like our octaves don't go high, octaves don't go high. And, and I'm not saying that I am, but I'm consistent with Adrian Broner. Like my, I, I'm not like, hey, what kind of shoes you're wearing? Hey, what type of, how much that costs? Not unless we're in an environment where everyone is talking shit. Right. We're in the back with the with the Watsons. We're, we're hanging out. Then that's a little bit different. But when, when I'm on my job, I'm real consistent with Adrian Broner. That's why I was shocked that, I mean, but, I'm, but, yeah, that he, the yeah. Mm-hmm. Right there in the moment. Yeah, uh, you're right. He, you know, no matter where he should he made he was, he didn't do what he was supposed to do in that fight. Mm-hmm. So he's down on himself. So his emotions are mm-hmm. high, and so he and, and, and so seeing a person like you that he know he gonna have to look in the eye mm-hmm. because like like you said, I mean who who what what report does he have a best relationship with? Ellie Satan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The person that he he, he at least that, I mean, and it probably works for him because it gets some the, the the access and the views and all of that. Mm-hmm. But he's just the person that's gonna he's just the person that's gonna massage whatever you say, mm-hmm. whatever you want, whatever you want me to talk about. I'm gonna ask the questions that are boost your confidence and help you answer these things. Yeah, you're you know? right. You're and, right. And, that, and that and that's just how that's how a lot of these people are. Like. Mm-hmm. Right? I need you to do me a favor one day. Cause this is what, cause like my, my girl and some other people are like, man, why don't you make like a, a, a boxing channel? And, it, and if I ever did, like I would just have to be like a YouTuber. I couldn't even do that these fights. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna, like, you, you need to. Yeah. Shit, it, you can have all my subscribers. Shit, you need to. Shit, do some shit on my channel, send them to your channel. Shit. It's, 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 Say anything. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Man, I got something special coming. And I, we got to fix Dre's schedule, man. Dre works that Friday and that Saturday. So I got to fucking try and figure that out. I got to lean on grandma. But if I can get grandma to watch my kids, man. Is is you gonna see something special in Baltimore? You gonna see something epic? You gonna see something special? Oh, I, I because oh man, I, I pray I can get there, man. I pray I can get there. Oh man, I'll know tomorrow. I'll know tomorrow. So we just looked at her schedule just now. And, yeah, but yeah, you're right on AB, man. You're right. I'm glad. I'm glad we had this talk, man. I was. I was. I was hurt. I was hurt. <laughs> Nah, don't be, don't be. I, I, I was just, I, I was in the Coliseum watching, watching Adrian Brown about to get fed to the lion. You know what I mean? I, I was, I was there, and I was like, damn, I seen this guy from the beginning. I remember when he was on Golden Boy, man. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I seen him from the, from when he was ten and eleven and no, I've, I've watched this guy, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's just. You know it's tough when you think you could have made an impression on a kid. You know what I mean? Like, like I remember I had a kid who ended up going to jail after I I, I taught him. There was I, I I had some guilt. He's doing life. I, I had I had some guilt. Like, damn, I could have made an impression on that kid. You know what I mean? I could have just said one. Thing. One more thing. If I could have said one more thing, and 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 parts of me feels that way about Adrian Broner. You know, like I. I feel that. I feel that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you one question mm-hmm. before we get off the phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, your son. Mm-hmm. Your son's gonna be fifteen, sixteen one day. Mm-hmm. All right. So you, you got, you guys, you guys still, you guys still will live where you live at. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice middle class, nice middle class area where mm-hmm. I, I thankfully got to grow up there. Mm-hmm. So I know, I know that, I know that neighborhood like the back of my hand. Mm-hmm. I know it's a lot, it's a lot of dude. It's, it's, it's even though, it, even though it's a nice neighborhood, it's still a lot, of, still a lot of influences that can go on. Yeah. Still, 
Like, you still right by where everything is cracking at. Yeah, I'm three blocks all away right. from everything in all directions, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so your son, your son, uh, gets a, gets, your son is cool with the dude that become lifelong homeboys. Mm-hmm. You know this dude's, you know this dude's, you know this, you know this kid's parents, you know that they did everything they're supposed to do, they're supposed to do with him, and to, to put him in the right position. Mm-hmm. For some reason, though, He's for some reason though he's steering his life down the wrong path. You know that their parents are trying to talk to him. You try to talk to him, and he's just he's just not refusing, not refusing, not refusing. Mm-hmm. You have to prepare your son. Hey, it's, it's a good chance that I know this is your best friend, but it's a good chance that he's gonna go to jail and he's gonna he's gonna die. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You got, you, like when you when you see somebody headed towards that and I'm, and and they're not listening, you just how long how long you gonna have how how long are you gonna feel for that person when you just I get it I get it fuck them over and over again I get it everything you're saying is true I I I'm telling you I'm telling you for real for real if I hadn't gone to the fight and I had to watch the fight with you I'd be like fuck that shit fuck it. Fuck it. But when you're in front of 14,000 people, I'm, I'm a part of a, a 14,000 people who are absolutely thinking the same exact. There is a unified energy in that arena. I don't care what color you are, if you're male or female, you are there because you believe you're going to experience the end of Adrian Broner's career. 90% of the people felt that way. I don't doubt it one bit, right? And when you're in that moment, you you have some empathy. I have empathy. There are people that you have sympathy. Like, damn, it's it's about to happen. You know what I mean? Th- th- there's a percentage that says yes, yes, it's gonna happen. But I I believe the majority is like, I I don't want to see this. You know what I mean? I don't want to see this. And uh, I I I'm more afraid of what's what's the reaction. You know, like. You know, I don't want to witness it. I, I don't want it on my clock. I don't want it on my watch. You know what I mean? I don't want to be the reporter recording that shit. You know what I mean? As, I mean, you know, you know, like, you know, and, um, you know, I, I let TMZ get that coverage if it happens. I don't want to be there, you know, you know, although I'll make a few thousand dollars off the video, but nah, I'm joking. But <laughs> I, I genuinely, I, I don't want to be there when it happens. Mm-hmm. I'm going to fight somebody halfway decent. Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Next time, bro. No. From this point on, it's on. Like, he, he, he gave me the license. He gave me the license. He gave me the license. When he walked away and called me a bitch-ass nigga, he gave me the license to, to not talk to him how I want to talk, but be who I normally am. Like, you know, I'm normally that guy who will ask the questions even if you don't want to be answered. Like, I, I wanted to follow up, but if I look to my right, there's 40 niggas there. I'm like, oh, I, I can't I can't put pressure on him because he's going to curse me out even more. If he would have walked away from me and he's with this and he's by himself or he's with this trainer, I would have asked, I was like, hey, you're going to walk away and call me a bitch ass nigga like that? You, you, you can't you, you can't answer questions. You can't. I, 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 I would have phrased it like that. But because I because of the environment I'm in, I couldn't do it. There's no way I could do it because the mob mentality would have kicked in. Oh, you talking to that? Hey, hey, nigga, I need you to go step away. Adrian Brown is done. You know what I mean? That would have been the next step. And I'm like, cool. You know, but I don't want it to get there. You know, I, you know, that 50 second interview said a lot about where where both of our both of us are. You know, and um, you know, and, and and the funny thing is the the subscriber that was in because I actually met like 20, 30 subscribers this weekend, and uh, one of them actually stayed in the hotel, and he was down in the lobby. Uh, he was in the lobby hanging out with me for about two hours, right? He was just asking me questions and stuff like that, hanging out while I was uploading videos and shit. I should have interviewed him. I think I did. No, I did, and he didn't want to be on camera. And uh, so, uh, he saw the whole thing go down, and he was like, "Man." The end is near. He's basically saying, like, the end is near for that kid, man. You know? And, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is, man. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, 
reality has set in. It's like watching Sean Kemp over again. It's like watching Allen Iverson over again. Yeah. It's like, Damn. Man. Yeah, Sean Kemp and Cleveland was like the biggest downfall ever, huh? Allen yeah, Iverson and Memphis. Mm. Mm-hmm. But you just knew that you knew what was coming. Yeah. Because you knew what was coming. Yeah. Zab Judah, you know what I mean? You, you saw it coming. And, 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 and she's out. Zab Judah was my first example as to why I'm giving up my bonus. Mm-hmm. Zab Judah was my guy. Zab Judah was everybody's Zab guy. He was, in, he was in everyone's hip hop video. Was, yeah. <laughs> he had no choice but to love him. Every time he got it. Every time he got a big fight, I'm like, Zab going to do it this time. Zab going to do it this time. And he never did. Never Not did. Once. Never did. Only against Corey Spinks. Only against Corey Spinks. Oh, I remember that fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Corey Spinks. That was an HBO fight. I remember that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Every other time, he let you down, and then he just didn't know how... He didn't, he didn't know... He didn't ever know how to hold himself accountable after mm-hmm. the fight. Not, not in the same way as Adrian. Like, he wasn't disrespectful. Like, we got knocked out by Colin. He tried to say it was a low blow. Mm-hmm. We got knocked out by Kodo. He tried to say the low blow slowed him down. Like, you got some ass work, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right, man. It's cool. Man, you nailed it. This is seven, people are going to love this interview. This is 80 minutes of, we took me on the phone for 80 minutes. Don't hang up. Oh, man, hold on. Don't hang up because I want to talk, I want to tell you something. End the video, go ahead, end it. At the beginning of every time we videos, because people always in the comments say like, oh, he's dope, but if, if they knew where the fuck to find you, they would go follow you. But hopefully they make it to the end of this video. But give your contacts. I mean, not your phone number, but you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tag you. Uh, I'll. Uh, yeah, your socials. Yeah, I'm on social media. It's Tyron Brown two four seven. Uh, yeah, y'all do. Y'all can holler at me on there. Um, I'm gonna get a goddamn YouTube channel one of these goddamn days. <laughs> I've, I've been telling you for two years to get a YouTube channel. You and your girl, man. <laughs> You and your girl, man. Like I'll be like, man, you only got three stories today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, damn, you disappointed me, man. You disappointed. Man, I'm telling y'all, that shit is y'all funny, man. When y'all in the car, that shit is hilarious. When, when whenever you question her black, whenever you question, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's no such thing as being politically correct. It, 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 it's listening. Being politically correct means basically you abiding by the master. There ain't no such thing as being politically. I, I need to do a video on that. Let me write this shit down. Politically correct. Because I, because, I, because I need all my black men to understand what the fuck that means. Because people always tell me I'm politically incorrect. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't follow it up, but I'm telling you, man. If you saw what I, man, I, you know, like I, there's no way I could have did a follow up because because through yourself you know others. I grew up in the hood. I know what twenty thirty niggas gonna do. I I know what's gonna happen next. I'm not no dummy. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> loud and they heard him yeah i'm not come on man i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna kill myself you know what i mean and uh you gotta kill me you know so you know i uh but yeah i'm about to end this video i want to tell you something i don't know if you know already but i'll tell you 
All right, barbershop conversations. We gone. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Peace. All right.